Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I am Christine Horn. Welcome! If this is your first time watching, I want to welcome you sincerely to all my replay watchers who will watch this later. What's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. This is a special episode of Actors Daily Bread. We've been doing this this week and last week. I'm taking you behind the scenes of what it's like to work with me in my VIP coaching program, The Inner Circle. And so I have some graduates that have been joining me. I got some new people that have been joining me. And so today I want to introduce you to, ta-da, well, let me show you, Ladios Muhammad. What's up, Ladios? What's up? <laughs> I thank you for taking the time. We had y'all have no clue. We've been trying to go live for the past almost 30 minutes. <laughs> issues, but the show goes on. As you guys pop on, uh, what's up? Farrah Lopez says, hey, hey, hey. My accountability partner. <laughs> <Your> accountability <laughs> partner. Uh, what's up, Orlando Usher? He says, Hey, Christine, what's up? Hey. Um, Farrah says, What's up, girl? So I want to just thank you for taking the time to be here. I know you've had a long, busy day, um, and it's been a joy. We've been working together for the past six, can you believe six months have gone this fast? It went fast. Fast. Tell the audience who, um, who you are, what you do, and where you're based. Okay. Ladios Muhammad. I'm an actor, model, advocate. I'm in, based in Denver, Colorado. And, and what you do... <laughs> I act. That's what I do. <laughs> so, I act. <laughs> I'm a full time actor that has a job. <laughs> yes. And that's some real ish. Yeah. Okay, make sure you welcome Ladios as you pop on, even if you're watching every place. Send her some love, please, because yeah. I see you watching. Thank you. <laughs> Destiny May says, Hey, hi, Destiny. Thank you. Um, let's talk about that. I mean, Lord knows, if you have been watching me in Actors Daily Bread, I'm very transparent in my book, Keeping a Job. I like to eat. I like to pay bills. I like to see the lights on, right? Right. So right. Talk, can you talk a bit about, um, before we started working together, um, how, how do we connect, first of all? Because I love asking this question, because for some of you, it's the same and it's different for some. How do we connect? <laughs> So um, I'm already on a couple of groups on Facebook and I kept seeing your face pop up last year. And I'm like, who is this woman? So every time I went on Facebook, you were like busting out a new video. So I started looking at your videos. <laughs> why are you, you going to be busting out the video? Because you be putting out two and three videos a day. I'm like, where did you find the time to do that? And she'd be looking flawless. <laughs> but uh, so I started... Um, but like going through the your YouTube channel, and I was like, oh my god! And I just like watched you for like, it was it was like around June or July of last year, mm -hmm. and then I think I reached out to you at the beginning of this year, like in about February or March or something like that. And yeah. I was like, I want to know about this person because I need to see what I'm lacking to take my acting to the next level. So. Um, What's that? What's the market like in Colorado for anybody who? Because sometimes people think, oh, I just coach people in New York and LA, and that's so not true. I have clients in the UK, I have clients in Canada, I have clients in, and so talk about a bit the, about the Colorado market. And before we started working together, like where you felt like you were feeling uh, that you needed some clarity, that you felt like you were struggling on. Okay, um, so the Colorado market is a non-union state, so there's it's a lot of industrial, commercial, um, in the theater, like play performances. However, um, we have New Mexico, New Mexico, which is right next door. And so they do a lot of big projects there, mm -hmm. um, TV and film. And so they're all also expanding because the Netflix studio is supposed to be opening up there soon. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. So um, that's going to be like a joy for us actors. So we don't have to fly way out to LA or something for a big project. Um, right. So it's expanding. Um, so for me, um, I was getting a lot of auditions, and but I wasn't getting as many callbacks. I mean, it was a, it was, it, it had been a while, um, and so to occupy my time and keep my, you know, my skills up, I would do a lot of plays as well. Um, and then so um, 
I didn't know what it was. And, and when I did my interview with you, Hey, <laughs> when I did my interview with you over the phone and you, I guess, you know, you like to do stuff in real time. I mean, she'd be searching you and I'd be like, really? <laughs> I'd be like, let me pull up your web. What's your website? Let me, you got real. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. And so you're like, you're playing small. And I, and I'm like, well, I'm really, I don't know if like I like I'm not afraid. I'm not like on my social media, I'm shy. Like social media, I'm truly shy. But like put me in a crowd or in front of a crowd to talk. I'm not shy. So anyway, you were like, you're playing small. And I was like, but 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 and you're like, well, how much do you want it? And I was like, <laughs> I want it. <laughs> so marketing was basically my weak point when I needed to develop and really tighten up my video auditions. Um and so um, that that was very beneficial. And since we've been working together, um, we're still working together. So anyway, <laughs> I booked two gigs. I've had a, a three or four holder pins. Yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't even know what holder pins were <laughs> until you told me. Um, <laughs> I've really developed a rapport with my my agent where now I've learned how to collaborate with her and really network on my end and put myself out there marketing ooh, ooh. Let's so, talk. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Yeah. Hey, Denise Armstrong, star of Overcomer, one of my booking magnets. She says, oh, yeah. hello. hello. <laughs> um, let us please talk about that because before, and not, this isn't just you. Yeah. A lot of people who come to me and when they first start work with me, they're like, oh, marketing, marketing, what? I have an agent. They're not calling me. Yeah. Versus what can I do for me? I put a post on Instagram. Your agent gets 10%, you get 90. Who should be doing more, most, more of the work? Right. And so it, I remember in the beginning, like, you like, I don't know about this relation, you know, how this relationship should work. So mm -hmm. now you've been doing what I like to call your marketing, your love notes, mm -hmm. being very yeah. strategic in why you're reaching out to people. Yeah. You know, I think a big mistake some actors make, and let me know what you think, is that it's throwing spaghetti at the wall. Like, Sending a card or sending some a headshot once every four or five months, maybe, mm -hmm. and then you wonder why you're not getting results that you desire. Right. Um, and I think that's big. Another thing that you mentioned was um, the self your self tapes because when and this is for all of you listening at home. If you're getting the auditions and they're coming in, Ladios has a great look. She's gorgeous. She looks great on camera. Right. But if she's if, so that's that 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 makes a that's a check mark for me. Like, well, she's getting called in so much. Why aren't the bookings happening? Right. Or why aren't the callbacks happening? And when in the inner circle, just for those of you who are just hopping on, we cover multiple sort multiple types. My, my brain wants to say multiple sources of income. My brain is. <laughs> <laughs> we need that too. <laughs> right. so we cover different types of TV because it's it's not enough to say I want to work in TV. You know. Uh, drama, comedy, procedurals, um, multicam, single cam. Right. You know what I mean? Like this week, this week we're working on multicam mm -hmm. and it's just a whole different beast, you know? So it's important to know those different things. Where did you, I want you to talk just a bit about balance because I, I know a lot of people who watch me are grown folks, mm -hmm. moms, dads here, full-time jobs. How have you been finding the balance of doing this work Plus, you have a one woman show that you're doing. Um, how do you find the balance to get your home, get all the homework done? Because you have self tape assignments for me, plus marketing research and love notes and creation. How do you balance that out? Um, well, I'm I'm like very grateful because I have a very flexible job. So a lot of stuff that most people have to wait home to do, I can do at work. Mm -hmm. um, but um, with my balance, so I don't have any little kids. My kids are grown, so I took that scenic route. You know, um, so, <laughs> that's another thing. Like how you promote, like there's no age limit, and I love that because um, I don't feel limited. I feel like more empowered right now. But um, for me, like um, there there was a time when I had like three auditions, and that were doing twenty like forty eight hours, and I was like, oh my god. 
So I just started, like, I kind of looked at some of the tips you gave about, like, memorizing the smaller ones and then getting onto the bigger ones. Um, I, I found that it was a little bit harder to do my homework when I had these, like, other auditions. Mm-hmm. So I would turn my homework in late. <laughs> but, well, really, the real auditions take, they take precedence. Yeah. You know? um, but when I, when an audition would come in, the one thing, because this is something new, I also learned about creating a background for your character. So when, I, when it comes in, I'm starting creating my background. I'm looking up words. And so I get all that done before I get home. And then, um, and then, so, you know, my husband, I get everything set up and then I'll get, you know, in the makeup and everything and which I hate. And then, uh, <laughs> okay, pause. <laughs> <laughs> so let me let y'all in on a little secret as well. Yeah. Um, by the way, I'm just going to give you just so the love that you're getting. Trafina, um, Trafina out of in one of our Booking Magnet Academy members says, hey, Wendy Miller came in island says, hey. Um, so in case you don't know, which unless you work with me, when I'm, I love doing self-tape audits. I love getting self-tapes from, from my clients. I'm actually doing something for this behind the scenes where I put a public post out, Latios. <laughs> and for anybody on Instagram, Facebook, if they wanted me to audit their tape, they just had to pick a scene, but they had to be brave enough to let me audit it live on Facebook. And yep. I've only had two submissions. I'm working on that one. Well, I'm, I'm working on that. It wasn't for you because you're a current member. So that's not even, that's, you got your homework to do. <laughs> but I want to talk about getting it done versus getting it done well. And if I had a video about this a couple of weeks back and there's that thing. And for all of you at home, you know, you're at home, it's late, you've worked all day. Oh, do I really have to put on makeup? This is just a whatever. Mm-hmm. My goal is for you to be so in tune to the repetition of doing this. I joked with Latios, I've been running around, I'm shooting something tomorrow. I had to get my nails and my feet done and, and I had set. I that's I had seven minutes to beat my face. I have this beat down to seven minutes, and that is important because while you're at home, not wanting to beat your face and go full out on this self tape, yep. even the one that's for your teacher, and I'm not come getting on you. We went through this. Yeah. Like someone else is willing, right. and that tape is going to get to the head of the studio or the head of the network. And so I just tried for all my clients, get you in the muscle. And I know it's a pain in the butt, but I'm like, hey, at least you don't have to drive two hours. You know, like I have to in Hollywood for an audition. Like I get to just beat my face at home. Great. You know, so getting the muscle, I think what you're talking about is that muscle. What other, um, go go ahead. (laughs) No, that's true. Cause I was like, I was complaining. Like, do I really have to put on makeup? I'm not gonna lie. Mm Since I started putting on the makeup and really putting the effort, <laughs> that's when the callbacks and the holds, I mean, because I was really like developing the character, taking my time, picking out the costume, like what is this character wear? And then uh, I think I watched one of your, your your videos and you said, at least you don't have to fly out of town on a last minute notice. And I, when it kind of changed my perspective of how I look at that. Because yeah. when people had to jump on planes and then you're just not even guaranteed, you know, uh, no. you're going to get it. So listen, I've been in the game a long time. So um, Wendy says guilty student. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. I needed this work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Remember you said that. Listen, before self tapes were a thing, I've shared this story and anybody certainly in the Southeast knows we used to have to drive eight hours to, to New Orleans free Katrina or uh, North Carolina for a two minute audition to turn right back around. Yep. So you have the luxury of self taping, mm-hmm. you know? And so what if you have to put your makeup on and then wash it right off? Like yeah. I rather the return on investment is much higher. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm I really, I'm super proud of you and I know we, but it's, it's stuff we work through and now you just set the bar of your excellence and you're seeing it. I mean, I'm not going to spill the beans on what she booked because I can't, but I woke up to a message this morning from Latios and the subject was what? I booked it! (laughs) I booked it! And I was like, I shouldn't be looking at my phone when I first wake up, but I do, and I'm like, yes. Come on, booking magnets. But let's talk a bit about... um, so we talked about some resistance with like, you know, you know, building character, you ended up finding your process for that. Mm -hmm. Um, What's, what's something else? I'm just going to speak to what, you know, a lot of people may be thinking, Um, Oh, I don't have, you know, destiny may says, yay. Thank you, destiny. 
Um, lack of money. I don't have the money. I don't have the time. I really want this, but, 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 and I know we're all in different stages of life. Great, great. Um, so where, what had to, ch what had to change in your mind for you to be like, okay, this is now that I'm going to go full, go full fledged on this right now. Um, well, the, the, why well, was, I was doing it, but I wasn't really doing it when you like, this is, you are your business. You have to present yourself as a business. And so I really started looking at it from a business perspective, perspective and businesses market. And so when we first had to send the love notes, the first thing I was like, why am I sending this? Okay. I, I I love, if you don't know me, and again, if you're just joining us, welcome. This is Actors Daily Bread behind the scenes of the inner circle. Ladios Muhammad is with me today. She's one of my amazing clients. Um, and if you're new to my world, I, I have a belief that we should all be marketing ourselves as actors. And I call my type of marketing spreading love. And so I send love notes. So that's what she's talking about. So when I first introduced this to Ladios, and you're not alone, <laughs> I get this response often, you were saying you, what was coming up was why, what's the purpose? Yeah, I was like, they're just going to toss it in the trash and they're not going to look at it. And I'm wasting time. And I, I, I just felt like, kind of like, I was like being um, desperate, but then again, I like watch all your videos a lot. It becomes a blur. Cause I couldn't even like, I don't know where this was at, but I remember you were like, just disconnect from it. And I'm like, why am I, why am I worried? You know, how they're going to know me if I don't send it out. And so now I have fun. I'm trying to create and make it. But every time I put it up, you'd be like, Make it more bold. I can't see your name. And I'm like, she is so picking on me. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah Lopez, do you see this? Sarah thinks she's the only one who gets picked on. And it's not oh. picking, it's love. I am a nitpicker. He is a nitpicker. <laughs> but I'm not picking on you. Because when I, so I, uh, I have Sarah. never submitted a love note. And she'd be like, oh, that's great. She'd be like, um, do that again and change that. So, but now I'm I'm really having fun with it um, because I know the benefit it's coming out again. And, and then I came in, like I said, I was kind of like really timid on social media. I mean, I'm still not like blasting myself, but I am a, like breaking out of my shell and my confidence level has boosted up a lot, a lot, a lot since, especially when you book, you always feel more, you know, confident because you're like, yeah. okay, this is working. You're seeing the results. And I mean, it, at the end of the day, you you just have to do the work. I mean, you can give all the tools, but until we're exercising the tools, it's right. not going to work. So that is that is key. That is key. Uh, Destiny May says marketing is key. Learning how to market yourself is one of the best skills you can learn and grow on, and that's absolutely right. And like for any business that you're in, yep. you know, we when we look at ourselves as entrepreneurs, this is the business. Yep. I am the product. And I know that doesn't sound sexy, but it just is what it is. I always say McDonald's, we all know McDonald's got fries, but they sure enough gonna keep telling us, showing us commercials about it. So it stays top of mind. And when I'm um, when I'm nitpicking, not just on Ladios, but for all of my clients, I want you to be like a go-to. Like when I see the Target symbol, when I see the McDonald's symbol, when I see the Coca-Cola logo, when I see Ladios Muhammad, when I see Farrah Lopez, Wendy Miller, Destiny May, Denise Armstrong, I want to just see your name and recognize it, see the picture, let the pictures be consistent, recognize it. You ended up upgrading your headshots. They look amazing. Um, just got your IMDB page today. Congratulations. <laughs> Um, I'm not, I'm not going to hold you. I, I'm really grateful for your transparency because as you can see in the comments, you, where you were, you're not alone. Right. Um, and, and I just think that's a big thing. Uh, another thing we really focus on in the inner circle is, is content creation of some sort. And the beautiful thing is Latios came in already having a one woman show. And, you know, with this, like, this is be, taking you to the next level with your marketing, you know, Fingers crossed for your Ireland, Ireland tour and the grant. Yeah, it's going. No, whether we get the grant or not, and tomorrow we're actually um, doing a full video shoot and creating a commercial so we can create a press package to send out to all the universities. So, yeah, uh, you 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 you're helping me on that. I'm looking at it a whole new new way, and uh, I yeah. love it. 
I yeah. love it. It's a beautiful vehicle for yourself. You're giving yourself your yes. Yes. And that's why I tell you guys, no matter where you are based, this goes for you too, Wendy in the Cayman Islands, <laughs> right? Iara in the UK. I'm just yes. I want to go to the UK. <laughs> you know, you Come on, Iara. Right? It's, <laughs> it's about, you can create your yes from wherever you are. And I think it's a limited thought. It's limited thinking. Mm -hmm. If you think, oh, I'm in a smaller market. You know, there's not an opportunity here. Make the opportunity. Otherwise, you're making an excuse. And in the, in the words of David Nagel, I share this quote often. When you make an excuse, any excuse will do. Hmm. So just let that sit in your spirit. Before we wrap today, you know, for, for the actor at home, young, old, in between, who's feeling Latios like, what's the point? I've been going at this for a while. Nothing's, I'm not getting any hits. What word, words of encouragement um, can you, would you give that person? Um, so if I ever got discouraged or something, or I felt like I didn't want to do something, my dad always told me nothing beats a failure, but a try. If you don't try, <laughs> then you might as well fail. And then really, honestly, once you try, there's no fail. We got to look at it that it, nothing happens overnight. You want to, you want to enjoy the journey. And I think we get this microwave attitude that we want it right now. But I really like the journey because I can take little bits and savor everything and look back and be like, oh, wow, I really did something. And I took my time doing it. So my yeah. thing is try, keep trying and don't stop and, you know, don't give up. Don't let age. Like I said, I, I took the scenic route. My kids are grown. And I feel like now I, I felt like I got more roles now than I did when I was in my 20s. So, too. you know, um, I'm just very grateful. So and um, again, I'm running this acting like a business and I'm more educated and I'm more, you know, knowledgeable about how this business runs. So, yeah, that's what I got for you. Nothing beats a failure, but a try. Mm hmm. I love that. Listen, if you enjoyed this, I have Latios, her links below. Um, she's 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 not on all the socials, but she is for sure on Instagram at Latios Muhammad. But that is in the links. <laughs> she's laughing because she was like, I don't a Twitter. I don't. Ha I can't. I'm not going to do that, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> I said, that's okay. You just pick your space. And that, that goes for you two at home. You don't have to be on all of them. Just pick the one you're going to dominate. Okay. Yeah. Um, listen, if you found this, if you've enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Please give it a like. If you're watching this later on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. Send Ladio some love and good energy toward her career. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm so proud of you. And if you if, are sparked and want to talk with me about what it looks like to be in my inner circle, it's very, I'm a very hands-on coach. Uh, texting, emailing, send me your auditions. Like, let me see it. So if you don't ask, I can't help you. But if you do ask, I'm here. And if that's of interest to you and you are committed in many ways, um, <laughs> because listen, I'm not easy. I really she's not, but she's going to pull the best out of you. And I don't want some type of coach that's not going to pull the best out of me. I need somebody to be like, give it to me. Even though I'll be having tears in my life, like she is making me cry. What's wrong with my love note? <laughs> <laughs> and you can see we have fun, but like, you know, I, I am invested because I care. And there's a ton of coaches out here who will take your money quick and not even remember, remember your name. And that is not me. So if you're interested in that, just put me in the comments, drop, shoot me a DM wherever you're watching this and I can send you more info. Latios, don't hang up. I'm going to end the broadcast, but I just want to give you a proper farewell. But everyone, thank you for watching. Again, this is Actors Daily Bread, episode 188, which means there are 188 episodes you can watch on YouTube. So even if you can't afford an acting class and if you can't afford a private coach, you can binge on YouTube. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right? So have an amazing night. Thank you so much, Latios. And thank you, everyone, for sending her all this love. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>